Well, what a good way to lose customers, eh? Let's begin. The article says that if you're still working from home, following, of course, the COVID pandemic, then it's your fault. A hosepipe ban is coming into force. At least that is what one water company says. The Southeast Water has laid blame at the door of those who aren't going to into the office for the first hosepipe ban of the summer. That will be imposed on Monday. The water company, which supplies more than 2 million homes and businesses, says it has been left with no choice but to restrict the use of hosepipes and sprinklers until further notice. Households across Kent and Sussex will be affected by the ban and company chief executive David Hinton claims people working from home was a key factor because it has increased drinking water demand. And in a letter to customers he wrote, Over the past three years, the way in which drinking water is being used across the South East has changed considerably. The rise of working from home has increased drinking water demand in commuter towns by around 20% over a very short period, testing our existing infrastructure. Mr Hinton also blamed the low rainfall since April, which he said left water butts empty, and as well, of course, as a recent spell of hot weather causing a spike in demand for drinking water. Well, of course, I don't know if this potential idiot realises, but there have been many hosepipe bans before 2020, so I personally think it is unfair to blame people working from home, even though, of course, I think everyone should actually be back to the office by now, in which case, if the majority of people did actually go back to the office at the end of COVID, well, actually, COVID will never seem to end. You are an idiot. Oh, I hate the smug one. Well, I stand corrected, of course, but the point I'm trying to make is when all the restrictions were lifted and many people did indeed go back to work, I think actually everyone should have gone back to work because let's face it, if people could go to supermarkets, then why can't they go back to the office? It just seems a bit ridiculous to me. So as most people did go back to work, I can't really see how the water company can blame us for using more water for something that for most people ended over a year ago. It just doesn't make sense to me. And yes, of course, I know there'll be some sort of backlogs, but let's face it, water doesn't exactly flow at one mile an hour, does it? So I'm guessing that any backlogs would have happened a couple of months down the line, but of course that didn't seem to happen, did it? Or at least for that area, as far as I'm aware. But thinking about it, people drink more than water, you know, especially office people. Quite often, in London especially, they tend to have a bit of a pee-up, don't they, on a Friday night, drinking everything else but water. And sometimes not forgetting with the results of their work, it often seems like they've been doing it on the job as well, doesn't it? So I personally think they're just being a little bit naive. But then again, it's 2023, isn't it? Why is something like this even happening in 2023? Surely by now, there should be some methods put in place to transport water quickly through pipework or whatever across the country in an area which is in need of clean water, rather than, of course, putting a ban on people with hose pipes. Maybe, who knows, in 20 or 30 years' time, they might finally get around to doing something about it. Or I guess maybe some other companies might start to blame us for other things. I mean, who knows? Anyway, I'll be back soon, so make sure you click the subscribe button down there so you don't miss my next video. I'll see you in the next one.